जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि घोर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि घोर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपति गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांतुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदेश्वरी ऋषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा परी प्रे नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चे नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर तुलसी राधे गुरु करण भगवान की जय जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय जय हरे कृष्णा की प्रभु हरे कृष्णा जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा प्रेम हरे कृष्णा गोविंद भाई तो मयो हरे कृष्णा All right so we started reading adhyay 20th yesterday of eight iskam aur jaisa ki pichle adhyay mein hum padh rahe hain we are reading about bali maharaj and of course appearance of lord ramandev yeah ramandev bhagwan appearance ke bare mein hum log padh rahe hain and of course as we know he is none other than avatar of lord vishnu himself as we know as we read and deva has disappeared mother aditi after speaking to kashyap muni does a tapasya which is called payavrat tapasya that's a vrat of bhagwan vishnu bhagwan vishnu gives darshan to mother aditi and promises that he will appear to mother aditi and kashyap muni and bring the devtas back restore devtas crown again is what he promises <clears throat> He appears as Vamandev, and just like we are reading, Vamandev as a Brahmachari, Sanyasi, right? And then he reaches to Bali Maharaj, and then Bali Maharaj he appreciates all the descendants, ascendants of Bali Maharaj, and then Bali Maharaj asks him to ask for anything. As we know, Vamandev asks for what? Three pad bhumi. Three pad bhumi, yeah. so three steps of land is what vamandev is asking and bali maharaj is of course saying that you need to ask for more but then we read the whole beautiful conversation about how one should be satisfied based on their needs and that's the way to get to the liberation right so he said three steps are sufficient for him and bali maharaj agrees to give him and then we read nice conversation between sukracharya ji and bali maharaj as we know sukracharya is the guru of all the demons and then he tells bali maharaj that what are you doing you should not promise and he clearly tells vaman dev ke avatar mein vishnu bhagwan swayam hai he is going to take away the entire universe in two steps and you will not even know what to do because you will not be able to complete your vow of giving three steps right so sukracharya ji tells bali maharaj to get back from the vow and he says it's okay in those situations not to fulfill the vow and then what we are reading right now is after thinking through sukracharya ji's message bali maharaj is replying to sukracharya ji right so what we are reading is bali maharaj is replying to sukracharya ji and will start with the shlok 3 uh, anirji <clears throat> sachaham vittalobhen pratyachakshe katham dujam pratishrutya dadami ti prahladi kitavo yatha i am the grandson of maharaja prahlad 
how can I withdraw my promise because of greed for money when I have already said that I shall give this land? How can I behave like an ordinary cheater, especially toward a Brahman? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So who is speaking this? Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj, right? Bali Maharaj is, of course, as we know, he is the grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad is, right? He says, I am grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. Yatha, how can I withdraw from the vachan, jo diya hai, especially ya, akshay katham dvijam. Dvijam is the brahman, katham is the vachan, jo diya hai. I cannot withdraw just for some uh, <clears throat> Uh, some needs and some greets. Yeah, and nice purpose. So let's read this. Vayur? Um, <clears throat> Bali Maharaj had already been blessed by his grandfather, Prahlad Maharaj. Therefore, he was a pure devo devotee, although born in a family of demons. There are two kinds of highly elevated devotees called Sadhana Siddha and Kripa Siddha. Sadhana Siddha refers to one who has become a devotee by regular execution of the regulative principles mentioned in the Shastras as ordered and directed by the spiritual master. If one regularly executes such devotional service, he will certainly attain perfection in due course of time. But there are other devotees who may not have undergone all the required details of devotional service, but who, by the special mercy of Guru and Krishna, the spiritual master and the supreme personality of Godhead have immediately attained the perfection of pure devotional service. Examples of such devotees are the Yagna Patni, Patis, Patnis, Maharaja Bali and Sukhdev Goswami. The Yagna Patnis were the wives of ordinary Brahmans engaged in fruitive activities. Although the Brahmans were very learned and advanced in Vedic knowledge, they could not achieve the mercy of Krishna Balram whereas their wives achieved complete perfection in devotional service, despite their being women. Similarly, Vero Chani, Bali Maharaj, received the mercy of Prahlad Maharaj, and by Prahlad Maharaj's mercy, he also received the mercy of Lord Vishnu, who appeared before him as a Brahmachari beggar. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so very important part mentioned in this is that two types of... <clears throat> People who get the Siddhi, one is Sadhana Siddhi, right? So one who does the regular execution of devotional service and then of course attends. And the second is Kripa Siddhi, right? The Kripa which happens. And what is mentioned is like Prahlad Maharaj, of course, being the grandson of Prahlad Maharaj, Bali Maharaj had a special mercy of Prahlad Maharaj. Yeah. And based on that special mercy, like Lord Vishnu himself, appeared as a Brahmachari Brahman in front of Bali Maharaj. That's a big mercy of Lord Vishnu on Bali Maharaj, is what is mentioned. Yeah? Ajay? <clears throat> Thus, Bali Maharaj became a Kripa Siddh because of the special mercy of both Guru and Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu confirmed this favor. Guru Krishna Prasade Prasade Paya Bhakti Lata Bij CC Madhya 19.151 Bali Maharaj by the grace of Prahlad Maharaj got the seed of devotional service and when the seed developed he achieved the ultimate fruit of that service namely love of Godhead Prem Pam Pamartho Mahan immediately upon the appearance of the Lord Vamandev. Bali Maharaj regularly maintained devotion for the Lord and because he was purified, the Lord appeared before him. Because of unalloyed, unalloyed love for the Lord, he then immediately decided, I shall give this little dwarf, Brahmana, whatever he asks from me. This is a sign of love. Thus Bali Maharaj is understood to be one who received the highest perfection of devotional service by a special mercy. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Yes, Prabhupada. Na hastayat paro dharma 
इति होवाच भूर्यम सर्व सोढूमलम मन्ये रिते ली कपरम नरम देर इज नथिंग मोर सिंफुल दैन अनफुलनेस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मदर अर्थ वन सेड आई कैन बियर एनी हैवी थिंग एक्सेप्ट अ पर्सन हु इज अ लायर हरे कृष्णा hare krishna and as we know bali maharaj is speaking right now right and bali maharaj is speaking to who who is hmm? shukracharya shukracharya ji right shukracharya shukracharya ji as his guru advised bali maharaj to not give this land to to ramandev because Shukracharya ji told him, "Vamana Devi is none other than Lord Avatar of Vishnu, right? Avatar of Lord Vishnu." And so he is advising him not to do it. But Bali Maharaj is replying back to him. Bali Maharaj is saying, "Is that for a dharm? Yeah, like there is nothing more sinful than untruthfulness because he has already promised this to Vamana Dev, right? And he is saying because of this, Priti was Bhuriyam, who is the Earth Mother Earth." she once mentioned i think in one of the stories it comes like mother earth once said that sarva sodhu malam manne like she can bear everything i can bear any heavy thing except rite alik param naram nar yeah that's the nar who is alik param nar right i can bear any any heavy thing except a person who is a liar is what mother earth said and that's what bali maharaj is telling to shukracharya ji that he cannot actually go back on his word that's how he's explaining this uh prem sir on the surface of the earth there are many great mountains and oceans that are very heavy and mother earth has no difficulty carrying them but she feels very much overburdened burden when she carries even one person who is a liar it is said that in kali yuga lying is a common affair maya vya vyavhari ke bhagavat 12.23 even in the most common dealings people are accustomed to li- to speaking of so many lies no one is free from the sinful reactions of speaking lies under these circumstances one can just imagine how this has overburdened in the earth and indeed the entire universe for it Hare Krishna. Yeah. So as we can see, the untruthfulness is how overburdened. But then we know that this is the age of Kali Yuga. Yeah. Tarun, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Gajan. I was on the road. Give me some time. I'll be able to read. Oh, no worries. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Naham bibhemi niryan. धन्यादुखारण्यादुस्सुखारण्यवाणिस्तांचनाम्रित्योर्यथाविप्रपल्लभना not even mrityu yeah nothing else but vipra pralabhanat what that means is but i fear cheating a brahman that he already promised brahman vaman dev something he cannot take it back anil ji yad yadhasyati loke asmin samretam dhanadikam tasya tyage nimittam kim viprastu kshetra ten chet My Lord, you can also see that all the material appliances of this world are certainly separated from their possessor at death. Therefore, if the Brahman Vaman Dev is not satisfied by whatever gifts one has given, why not please him with the riches one is destined to lose at death? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So Bali Maharaj is saying very simply that at death, all those things, material appliances, will be separated anyways. Yeah. so why not yeah why not give what lord brahman dev is desiring yeah okay uh 
श्रेय कुरुवंति भूतानाम साधवो दुसत्य जासिभु जासुभि दध्य दध्यंग शिव प्रभृत प्रभृत को विकल्पो धरा दिशु दधीची सिबी एंड मेनी अदर ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज वर विलिंग टू सेक्रीफाइस इवन देयर लाइफ फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द पीपल इन जनरल दिस इज द एविडेंस ऑफ हिस्ट्री सो वाई नॉट गिव अप दिस इन सिग्निफिकेंट लैंड वॉट इज द सीरियस कंसिडरेशन अगेंस्ट इट हरे कृष्णा Hare Krishna. Yeah, again, as we know, Bali Maharaj is speaking to, he is responding to Sukracharya Ji. Sukracharya Ji's guru, he advised him to not to give land, so he is justifying why it makes sense to do that, right? Because even the big people like Dadichi and Sibi, he is giving examples of. Shri Prabhu. भुजे ब्रहन्नंदेन्द्रणीवर्तिषाग्रशीलोकान न यशोधिगत भुवि O oh, best of the brahmanas certainly the great demonic kings who were never reluctant to fight enjoyed this world but in due course of time everything they had was taken away except their reputation by which they continue to exist in other words one should try to achieve a good reputation instead of anything else hari krishna hari krishna yeah What Bali Mara is saying is, "Yaso adhi gatam bhuvi," like you need to achieve a good reputation instead of, of course, Kali Yuga. You know everything is different. No one cares about the reputation, <laughs> right? Get whatever you can. That's the attitude these days, right? But what Bali Mara is is saying, one should try to achieve a good reputation instead of anything else, is what he is telling to Shukla Chaturji. And again, very nice purport. Let's read this, uh, Mayur. So in this regard, Chanakya Pandit, Chanakya Shlok thirty four also says, "Ayusha uh, kansa eko pi na labhya swarnam koti bhi." The duration of one's life is extremely short, but if in that short lifetime one can do something that enhances his good reputation, that may continue to exist for many millions of years. Bali Maharaj therefore decided not to follow his spiritual master's instructions that he deny his promise to Vaman Dev. Instead, he decided to give the land according to the promise and be everlastingly celebrated as one of the twelve Mahajanas. Bali uh, Vayashir Vaman Vayam. Sorry, Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So Bali Maharaj, of course, as we know, is one of the twelve Mahajans. Yeah. And if you, I don't know if you remember, we read about the twelve Mahajans, right? Who is a Mahajan? Are the ones who are appointed directly by Lord Vishnu, and they carry the. They are the authoritative uh, speakers on the religion, right? On the way of life, on Sanatan Dharma. If they say something, that's what is seen, right? As an example of that's where the descendants, Lord Vishnu himself, has given them that power. So, Bali Maharaj is one of those twelve Mahajans. Yeah, he says Bali, Vaishakri, Vaishakir, Vaya. Right? Vyasa is the Vyas, Ved Vyasa's son, Sukhdev Goswami Ji. Sukhdev Goswami Ji is another Mahajan. Yeah. So we know Bali Maharaj, Sukhdev Goswami Ji, Vaya. Yeah, that's the Yam, right? Yam, Sukhdev Goswami Ji, Bali. So those are the three Mahajans, as we already know. Who are the other nines? Do we remember? <laughs> right. So the other nine, right? Once we read about it, and we said, so the twelve Mahajans, right? So Lord Brahma Himself. So you have Lord Brahma, we have Narad Muni, Lord Shiva, uh, Sanat Kumars. Uh, we know Bhishma Pitamaha. 
Raja Janak, uh, Kapil Muni, as you know, right? Kapil Muni was the descendant of uh, descendant of uh, Lord Vishnu himself, Raja Janak, right? So like this, right? Twelve Mahajak. Very some of them, some are very easy to remember, right? Of course, we have Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Narad Muni, you know, Sanat Kumars, Kapil Muni. They are all direct descendants of Lord Vishnu. Prahlad Maharaj is also known as it. Prahlad Maharaj, Bali Maharaj, and Bhishma Pitama, Raja Janak. Right, so they are all easy to remember. They are the twelve Mahajans. That's why, if you remember, we had Bhishma Pitama giving the message of religion when he was last on that sanya, when Krishna Bhagwan himself was standing in front of him. He was giving this religious message, which everyone was listening to. Right, so those are the twelve Mahajans. And so, what is mentioned here is Bali Maharaj, of course, based on his. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Uh, his thought process, right, and his doings, he became one of the Mahajans, is what is mentioned here. Hmm? Okay. Surva Yudhi Vipreshe Khai Anivataz Nuttaj Ya Na Tatha Tirthi Payate Shadhya Ye Dhanatajya Dhanatajya O oh, best of the Brahmanas, many men have laid down their lives on the battlefield, being unafraid of fighting. But rarely has one gotten the chance to give his accumulated wealth faithfully to a saintly purpose, person who creates holy places. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, the Brahman Vamande, of course, creates the holy places. And when he will get a chance, a lot of people have fought in the battlefield, but Bali is saying, when am I going to get this? Chance. Um, Hare Krishna, Sachin. Hare Krishna. Many Kshatriyas have laid down their lives on the battlefield for their nations. <clears throat> but hardly a person can be found who has given up all his property and his accumulated wealth in charity to a person worthy of the gift. As stated in Bhagavad Gita 17.20, <clears throat> Data Vyam Iti Yad Dhanam Diyate Anu Anupa Karine. Peshe Kale Cha Patre Cha Tada Danam Satvikam Spratam. That gift which is given out of duty at the proper time and place to a worthy person and without expectation of return is considered to be charity in the mode of goodness. <clears throat> this charity given in the proper place is called Satvika. And above this charity is goodness. In goodness is a transcendental charity in which everything is sacrificed for the sake of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Vaman Dev, the, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, had come to Bali Maharaj for arms. How could one get such an opportunity to give charity? Therefore, Bali Maharaj decided without hesitation to give the Lord whatever he wanted. <clears throat> one may uh, get various opportunities to lay down his life on the battlefield, but such an opportunity as this is hardly ever obtained. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Hare Krishna. Yeah. So even charity is, as we know, right, everything we do, is influenced by three gunas, right? What are those three gunas? Rajogun, Tamogun, Satogun. Right, yeah. So we are all influenced by those three gunas. Yeah? Mode of goodness, mode of patience, and mode of ignorance. What is mentioned here is that if we give a charity at the proper time, place, worthy person, etc., and without expectation of return, yeah, is the charity in the mode of goodness? And we do the same thing, but we expect some return out of it. Hey, we have done this nice work, nice charity. So hopefully, you know, we'll get something back. Is in the is also good, but that's the charity in the mode of passion. Yeah, Rajoga. So like that. But what is being mentioned is the charity given in the proper place. Yeah. Sattvic charity is the mode of goodness, but then above that charity is in goodness is transcendental charity. Yeah. The transcendental charity is the one in which everything is sacrificed, everything, for the sake of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yeah? And that is the, uh, that is called the transcendental charity. That's what Bali Maharaj is doing in this case. Yeah? Uh, Tarun, can you read now? Or you are still traveling? Tarun? <clears throat> Mm 
मंसिन कारुणि कश्य शोभन यदार्थी कामोपन ये न दुर्गति है कुतः पूर्ण ब्रह्म विधाम भवादृश्याम By giving charity, a benevolent and merciful person undoubtedly becomes even more auspicious, especially when he gives charity to a person like your good self. Under the circumstances, I must give this little brahmachari whatever charity he wants from me. This is what Bali Maharaj is thinking. Yeah, and nice purport again. Let's read this, Anilji. If one accepts a poverty-stricken position because of losing money in business, gambling, prostitution, or intoxication, no one will praise him. But if one becomes poverty-stricken by giving all of his possessions in charity, he becomes adored all over the world. Aside from this, if a benevolent and merciful person exhibits his pride in becoming poverty-stricken by giving his possessions, in charity for good causes, his poverty is a welcome and auspicious sign of a great personality. Bali Maharaj decided that even though he would become poverty-stricken by giving everything to Dev, this is what he would prefer. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, like Sukracharya tells Bali Maharaj that you will have nothing left, right? Because he knows Lord Vishnu will occupy everything in those states. And then still, Bali Maharaj decides he prefers to give everything to Brahman. Ajay? Yajanti Yajanti Yag Yagyam Kutu Bhriv Madrita Bhavant Amna Amnaya Vidhan Kovida Sa ev Vishnu Vishnu var dos dos tu vaparo dasyas dasyam mushne chiti mipti satam mune. O great sage, great saintly person like you, being completely aware of the Vedic principles for performing ritualistic ceremonies and yagyas. Worship Lord Vishnu in all circumstances. Therefore, whether that same Lord Vishnu has come here to give me all benedictions or to punish me as an as an enemy, I must carry out his order and give him the requested tract of land without hesitation. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so again, as you know, Bali Maharaj is speaking right now and he's saying, Oh great sage, referring to whom? Sukriya Charaji. Sukriya right? Bali Maharaj is telling Sukriya Charaji, you are great sage, right? You do all these very principles, you follow. He's the guru of even though all the demons, but he's a guru, a spiritual guru, right? And he says that you worship Lord Vishnu in any ways. And then so now, Sir Eva Vishnu, yeah, same Vishnu has come here, right? I must give him whatever he desires, is what he's mentioning. Yeah? Ramayu? As stated by Lord Shiva, Arahadhanam Sarvesham Vishnur Arahadhanam Param Tasmat Parataram Devi Tadhyanam Samarchanam Padma Puran. Although in the Vedas there are recommendations for worshipping many demigods, Lord Vishnu is the supreme person and worship of Vishnu is the ultimate goal of life. The Vedic principles of the Varnashram institution are meant to organize society to prepare everyone to worship Lord Vishnu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so what Padma Puran mentions is that Aradhanam Sarvesham, like all Devita, all demigods, you can do the Aradhana, but Vishnu Aradhanam Param. That's the ultimate goal of life. Yeah. Shri Prabhu. Yes, yes. Yes, Mam Badhiniad Nagasam Yes, 
ಪ್ರಥಾಪ್ಯೇನಂ ನ ಹಿಂಸೆ ಭೀತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತನು ರಿಪು ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಹಿಂಸಲ್ಫ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕವರ್ ಹಿಂಸಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಬೆಗ್ಗಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಹಿ he religiously arrests me or even kills me i shall not retaliate although he is my enemy hari krishna hari krishna yeah, lord vishnu himself has come in the form of a brahman bali maharaj is saying he is not going to retaliate right say so if lord vishnu as he had come to bali maharaj and ask him to do something bali maharaj certainly would not have refused his request right but to enjoy a little humor between himself and his devotee the lord covered himself as a brahman brahman brahmachari and thus came to bali maharaj to beg for only 3 feet of land okay eshwa uttam shloko na jyasti yad yasha atva mana predide If this Brahmana really is Lord Vishnu, who is worshipped by Vedic hymns, he would never give up his widespread reputation. Either he would lie down, having been killed by me, or he would kill me in a fight. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Of course, as we know, Uttam Shloko, right? Like, who is worshipped by the Vedic hymns is the Lord Vishnu. That's how he is. ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಮನಾದೇ ಶಂಕರ ಗೃಹ ಶಾಪ ದೈವ ಪ್ರಹಿತ ಸತ್ಯಸಂಧಂ ಸಂಧಂ ಮನಸ್ವಿನ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ there there after the spiritual master shukracharya being inspired by the supreme plod cursed his exalted disciple bali maharaj who was so magnanimous and fixed in truthfulness that instead of respecting his spiritual master's instructions he wanted to disobey his order hari krishna <clears> hari <throat> krishna so now that we read so much such a nice reply from bali maharaj of course shukracharya ji i say sishman adesh karam guru hai is like not listening to the spiritual master shukracharya so he cursed his exalted disciple bali maharaj yeah so shukracharya ji then of course is not happy hari krishna karu hari krishna dradham pandita mini ajna sabdho se asman upar ಉಪೇಕ್ಷೆ Hare Krishna. And who is saying this right now? Shukracharya. Shukracharya is right. He is replying to Bali Maharaj because Bali Maharaj refused to not give his vow. Right? He said he will uh, definitely fulfill his vow of giving land to Amandir. Shukracharya Ji says you shall very soon be bereft of all your opulence. It is the curse which Shukracharya Ji ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಲ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಲಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ನೆವರ್ ಡೇವಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಸ್ಟಮ್ he first offered water to bamadeva's 
and then offered him the gift of land he had promised. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So Vam and I, that are like he, went on giving the gift of land to Vam and Dev. Ajay? <clears throat> Vindhya, 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 Vali, Swada, Gat, Sorry, Vindhya, Vali, Dastya, Manya, Patni, Jal, Patni, Jal, Kamalini, Aninde, Karasham, Hamam Hamam Vane Jananya Britam. Bali Maharaj's wife, known as Vindhya Wali, who was decorated with a necklace of pearls, immediately came and had a large golden water water pot brought there full of water which to worship the Lord washing his feet. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So when Bali Maharaj decided to fulfill his woe, Vindhyavali. Vindhyavali is the wife of Bali Maharaj. Yeah. She got ham kalasham, right? The colors of gold with water to wash Lord's feet. Yeah. Shiv, who? Did you call my name, Prabhuji? Yes. Yeah. Yajmana. Swam Tasha Shrimat Pad Yugam Muda Av Nijav Mur Dhan Tadopo Vishwa Pawaniha Bali Maharaj, the worshipper of Lord Vamandeva, jubilantly washed the Lord's lotus feet and then took the water on his head, for the water delivers the entire universe. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so, Bali Maharaj, Srimad Pada Yuga Muda, he washed his feet, and then what he did? He took that water by which he was the feet on the head. Murgni is the head, right? Why? Vishwa Pavani, that water, that delivers the entire universe, as Bali Maharaj knew. Yeah? Same, sir? <clears throat> Tada Surindram Divi Devta Gana Gandharu Vidyadhar Siddha Charana Charam Tatkarma Sarvepi Grinat Acharv Prasun Varshev Varvushu Murda Vinta At that time, the residents of the high planetary system, namely the demigods, the Gandharvas, the Vind Vidyadharas, the Siddhas, and the Charanas, all being very pleased by Bali Maharaj's simple, non duplicitous act, raised his qualities and showered upon him millions of flowers. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so, when that is happening, and of course, as we know, we know Gandharva, Vidyadhar, Siddha, Charana, they're all Nivasi of the higher lords, like including Devatas, they all started showering flowers. Yeah. Uh, Sachin? Nedur Muhud Dundu Bhaya Sahasra Show Gandharva Kimu Purusha Kinnara Jaguhu Manaswina Nenu Krutam Sudhushkaram Vidwana Dad Yad Ripave Jagat Prayat Prayam. <coughs> the Gandharvas, the Kim Purushas, and the Kinnaras uh, sounded thousands and thousands of kettle drums and trumpets again and again, and they sang in great jubilation. Uh, declaring how exalted a person is Bali Maharaj and what a difficult task he has performed. Even though he knew that Lord Vishnu was on the side of his enemies, he nonetheless gave the Lord the entire three worlds in charity. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Tadvamanam rupam vardhyadad bhutam Harer ananta asya gunatrayat atmikam Buhe kham disho dhorvi vara payo dhaya istariyarna deva disiyo yadha satan. 
the unlimited supreme personality of Godhead, who had assumed the form of Vaman, then began increasing in size, acting in terms of the material energy, until everything in the universe was within his body, including the earth, the planetary systems, the sky, the directions, the various holes in the universe, the seas, the oceans, the birds, beasts, human beings, the demigods, and the great saintly persons. Yeah. So the Lord, Harir Anand, yeah, he is the Hari Anand. He Guna Triat Atmakam, right? And then who hai, like earth, kham, akash, all dishas, right? Everything basically, yeah, he started to expand. Yeah. <clears throat> I just read two lines and then we'll take a break. Am I you? Bali Maharaj wanted to give charity to Vaman Dev, but the Lord expanded his body in such a way that he showed Bali Maharaj that everything in the universe is already in his body. Actually, no one can give anything to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, for he is full in everything. Sometimes we see a devotee offering Gang Ganges waters to the Ganges. After taking his bath in the Ganges, a devotee takes a palm full of water and offers it back to the Ganges. Actually, one takes a palm full of water from the Ganges, the Ganges does not lose anything. And similarly, if a devotee offers a palm full of water to the Ganges, the Ganges does not increase in any way. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, but what it says is, but by any such offering, the devotee becomes celebrated as a devotee of other Ganges. Yeah. So I think we are going to pause here. And since it's time, but beautiful reading. So we'll again continue from here next Monday. Right. The beautiful conversation and what happens next. Just one question. Sure. Um, not sure if it is related, but isn't there a story that uh, Shukracharya entered the kettle and tried to drop, stop the Bali Maharaj from doing the Pratigya before giving the land? Is that part of some other story? It's not part of Bhagavad? Yeah. So I think there's more story to come now forward, right? But this one, of course, is not in full all the full details, right? Okay. So you may have some parts missing, but this is still continuing. Like you'll still read some more things happen, some war happens, how the demons attack, and all those things. <laughs> okay. So it's yet to come. Yeah. So he's just Bali Maharaj just started to do this right now. And then still we'll see what happens, right? So we'll read that next week. Yeah. But since we have time, we'll just go a little bit over time. And there's a beautiful Vamandev Stuti. Yeah which we are going to hear today. It's it's nine minutes. It's same thing again, all the shlokas, but it's nine minutes, but we'll just hear that. Yeah. And then... Namaste Jalashayini Pranamami Sada Bhaktya Balavamana Rupini Namasharan Dhanurabana Pana Yevamana Yacha Yatnya Bhuk Palada Trecha Vamanaya Namuna Maha Deveshwaraya Devaya Deva Sambhuti Karini Prabhave Sarva Vedanam Vamanaya Namuna Maha Namaste Padmanabhaya Namaste Jalashayini Pranamami Sada Bhaktya Bala Vamana Rupini Namasharan Dhanurbana Pana Yevamana Yacha Yatnya Bhuk Balada Trecha Vamanaya Namuna Maha Deveshwaraya Devaya Deva Sambhuti Karini Prabhave Sarva Vedanam Vamanaya Namuna Maha 
नमस्ते पद्मनाभाय नमस्ते जलशाइने प्रणमा सदा भक्त्या बालवामनूपिणे नम शारंधनुर्बाण पाणयेवामनाय चुक्दात्रे चमनाय नमो नम देवराय देवाय देवसंभूति कारिणे प्रभवे सर्वेदनामनाय नमो नम नमस्ते पद्मनाभाय नमस्ते जलशाइने प्रणमा सदा भक्त्या बालवामनूपिणे नम शारंधनुर्बाण पाणयेवामनाय चुक्दात्रे चमनाय नमो नम देवराय देवाय देवसंभूति कारिणे प्रभवे सर्वेदनामनाय नमो नम नमस्ते पद्मनाभाय नमस्ते जलशाइने प्रणमा सदा भक्त्या बालवामनूपिणे नम शारंधनुर्बाण पाणयेवामनाय चुक्दात्रे चमनाय नमो नम देवराय देवाय देवसंभूति कारिणे प्रभवे सर्वेदनामनाय नमो नम नमस्ते पद्मनाभाय नमस्ते जलशाइने प्रणमा सदा भक्त्या बालवामनूपिणे सो वी हैड आनंद स्तुति एंड द सेम स्तुति वाज रिपीटेड 11 टाइम्स सो आनंद सो बोलो आनंद भगवान की जय जय सो हैव अ नाइस लॉन्ग वीकेंड and then we continue reading this blissful uh conversation and what happens next monday 9:30 pm yeah hari krishna hari krishna everyone hari krishna